Hello, I'm here with Tommy Williams after this afternoon's 2-1 defeat at Met Police. Uh, Tommy, the unbeaten run in the league had to end at some point, but how disappointed are you that it had to end today and here? Yeah, obviously hugely disappointed. We had, uh, I think we created enough chances. Um, first half, I thought we was very dominant. I thought we played some good stuff, um, got into some good areas, and didn't punish Met Police. And um, you know, we spoke about set plays about being massive today and uh, just before half time obviously a set play um, corners whipped in and the lads got on in front of people across the near stick which is which is disappointing and it was a great time for them to score and um, yeah I, I think like you say the run had to come to an end but I think today we, we if we were more clinical we really could have um, gone in front and, and, and been in front by, by maybe two Two or three margin, which obviously changes changes the game massively. Yeah, quite. We could have been uh, two goals to the good at, at least in the, in the first half. But the timing you just mentioned there, the timing of the of the Met Police goal coming just before just before the break, it must have uh, an already uh, feeling aggrieved concerning team. That did, what what words did you have to say to the ref going off um, at half time? There seems to be a lot of uh, a lot of talk about some contentious decisions. Well. Without getting yourself in trouble, yeah. I'll, I'll say the stuff that can get yeah. you in trouble. No, no, I, I do think he struggled today. I really do. I think he had a, um, he weren't his best the referee. I think, you know, if he if he looked back at himself there, um, I think he's he's got some big decisions wrong. And I think a major one um, was was the penalty not given on on Ricky Sappleton. I think that was a blatant penalty. Even their bench thought that, um, but he, he he's got that wrong. But. Uh, Say so I can't blame the referee always, but he, he didn't help today. A couple of more uh, referee talking points. Uh, Pico Coma is getting, getting a yellow card for a, a tangle of feet in the first half, and most notably from where I was stood, the, uh, the, the tackle or uh, foul as we saw it on, on Howard uh, just outside the box, um, which we thought we, we thought he was reaching for a red card, and he actually was having a strong look for. Uh, for a goal kick, was that was that something that other players thought was a, was black white got that wrong? I don't want to get anyone into trouble. Yeah, I do. I think um, the, uh, the tackle on Harold was. Uh, it looked to me that he really followed through, and he looked dangerous play to me. Um, and yeah, the one on the one on Pico that he's booked him for. It, it, I think. I mean. Their bench looked like they had a bit of a better views um, on, on the Pico one, and he's, you know, Jim's a fairly honest character, and he, he, he said to me um, that that Pico did dive on that one. But uh, yeah, as part of, for for Harold's one, I certainly think that um, it was a dangerous tackle, and he went steaming over there, the referee, and, and gave a goal kick, which I, I don't understand why he done that. To be fair, but look, the runs come to an end. You know, credit to Met Police. You know, they played. Some good counter-attacking football, um, certainly second half, and tried to hit us on the break. And, and, you know, a couple of times they, they they did get in, but I think um, I say on another day, if we're a bit more clinical, certainly in that final third, um, I think we, we go in leading two 0 and, and, and Met Police have certainly got to come out a bit more at us. But it's, it wasn't meant to be today. We we made some good chances. But how, if you had to choose one or the other, are you more disappointed at the the way that we conceded from the set piece, or the or the lack of finishes in the in the first half particularly? Well, you always want your sides creating. I, I'll be a, I'll be worried if we didn't create chances today, and we did. We did create chances, which is which is good. Um, you know, we've been massively um, strong in the defensive department. We've you know we've. We've, you know, teams have uh, put pressure on us at, during games, and we've, we've really looked comfortable. And so it was disappointing to concede, um, especially when we spoke about set plays. And um, like I say, really, you know, before that we should have been in front, and that and that, that was disappointing not to get in front. Uh, as I see it, there's uh, two of our regular four strikers are, are out injured at the moment. Any, any more on their uh, prognoses? Jake Kempton um, done a bit of a warm up today, but he's really still feeling this ankle issue. Um, Malachi is getting there. Um, I think it's badly bruised knee, which he could play a part on Monday, but I doubt it. Um, obviously, George Oakley is uh, just torn his hamstring into his second game of his loan, so he's he, he's obviously not going to be with us. But you know, something we may revisit further down the line but um, 
we're, we're, we're keeping our options open. We, we, we are looking at one or two things that, uh, that, that, that could could change after today's fixtures uh, elsewhere. So we'll have a look at that and um, see where we're at. Right, and uh, the league runners, uh, the undefeated league runners, come to an end. But the next two games are both cup games, uh, albeit quite contrasting cups. Uh, Dorchester away, how important is that for you in the squad? Well, the first one is the Ryman League Cup game. Um, it is a chance to make a couple of changes. It is a chance to give players needed minutes. Um, so there will be changes there, but Dorchester we're looking forward to. Um, it's a good away trip. We want as many supporters as we can to, to make the effort to go up there. I know it's a it's a it's a quite a long journey, but it's a good journey that um, we'd like to see as many as we can supporting us there. And um, we're looking forward to that. We're getting um, some reports done on that this weekend, and um, you know hopefully it's a, a, a game that we can progress in, um, get the club some some funds which is always nice and um, like I say we'll, um, we, we, we're taking it very seriously that one. Excellent, well best of luck on those two games. Thanks for your time. Cheers John, Cheers. thanks very much.